I love it! Hello, welcome back to Crazy Super 73 Show with your host, Poppy Gluna. It's amazing! I love it! I have my erect. What a crazy journey to get this new bike. I had to run after a delivery truck, then I lose it, but it was okay because it was not the truck with my bike. And you know why? Because they lost my bike. Yeah, yeah, they lost the package. I called them, say, uh, have you lost my package? And they said, uh, yes, sir. Uh, can you find it back and send it to me? Uh, yes, sir. On the next morning, they sent the bike. Ah, it was there! My yes, Super 73 RX, the box was there. It was amazing. I love it. Thank you, guys. I'm not gonna do open the box videos because there is millions of them already in English, but I'm gonna share some tips during the opening process. First, if you're opening the box alone, well, you can do it actually. Just make sure that when you're removing the top of the box, the whole package is against the wall. So when the bike will fall, it could lean against you or against the wall. The small yellow parts, they are actually for brake maintenance. They come from Magura, so it's not needed for the assembly. Just keep them, don't trash them. Third, just check everything around the bike. Near the speed, you check if there is a cable that is too long and that might be banging against the spoke of the wheel. If that happens, don't use your bike on the extreme speed. And as soon as you can, just cut the cable a little bit shorter. And final tip, the left pedal is screwed counterclockwise and the right pedal is screwed clockwise. Amazing, I love it! Okay, now let's talk about the bike. Those suspension, they are amazing. Here, here, you just feel like you're on a cloud riding this bike. There is all this part which is oily and so there is this protection here. This is a little bit bothering because it's always banging when you're doing a jump or when you're doing something. I don't know how it can be improved because you can't really fix it here, otherwise you don't have the suspension and uh, it will always be banging or maybe if it's further or do you really need it? I don't know. I love the speeds because now I can really use my bike as a bike, which is kind of amazing because with the S1, it's like a fixie and it's a heavy fixie. So it's really, really, really hard to use. Here the battery, it's, it locked itself without a key and clips it and it's done. It's locked. I have to put the pedal assist. Okay, now I just put no, the first plus one, level one pedal assist. So if I push really hard, okay, now it's helping me. Now let's bring it to number three. If I push now, it's the same kind of help. It just go further and I don't need to push as much as level one. So that's the only difference. Okay, let's go back to one. It doesn't really change anything between number one and number three. It's just, I don't need to push as much on the torque sensor. That's the only big difference. You still need to manage the speed, especially in Europe, because you're, you don't have the full throttle power. So when you're on a hill like this, well, the engine is helping you for sure, but you need to, you need to use the speed. Otherwise, the engine won't be enough to help you climbing this hill. I don't really use my strength here. I'm just pushing the pedals so that I have some engine helping me. But I don't have to complain here because I don't have to use a lot of strength. This is really, really, really easy. So here I'm at 25 and I still have the engine helping me. Okay, I'm 28, 30. Okay, pedal assist level one is still helping me. It's not helping me a lot, but it's still helping me. Here the, the floor is wet and those tires, well, when they are new, be careful because they, they are a little bit sleepy. Sleeky, sleepy, sleep, they sleep. <laughs> you fall down anyway, That's just like I did. So be careful when it's a little bit wet, especially if you have new tires. But otherwise, it's pretty good on the street. Yeah, the tires, really great. On the street, it's perfect. <sighs> Now the suspension, this is the best part. This is what I, I really enjoy with this new bike. 
And this is why I took the RX actually, and I didn't take the S2 because I wanted something that had full suspension. Oh yeah, let's, okay, let's jump. See? All right. Okay. It's amazing, I love it. That's my range. Oh, I love this function. So now the bike is telling you the range that left. So it says 16 kilometers, pretty good. But I don't care anymore because if I don't have batteries, it's not a problem. I can use my bike as a bike. The battery consumption with this new sensor is amazing. I think I'm gonna do with one chart. I'm gonna do something around 80 kilometers. It's amazing, I love it. I don't wanna use the horn, the honk of this bike for a pedestrian because it's really too loud and it's really too, it's too offensive. If I would say, shit. This is why I don't want to use it. If this is not working, oh. yeah, I want to go to the place where I want to have the meetup tomorrow. <laughs> we are 500 on the channel, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really hope those videos can give you some tips and I'll uh, keep making them. And as always, if you like this video, press like, subscribe and share. Leave me a comment. I'll see you on the next ride. I love it.